Wrong time. On time. All my beats tell All on my own. I did this all on my own grind. And they won't stop hitting my phone line. These hoes, they call it the wrong time. Money is coming, it's on time. Tired of taking the loss. I, I turn myself to a boss. Gave up like I was a regular. I came out dripping with sauce. Welcome back to the Frankly Speaking Bull Sports Podcast. It's your boy, Frank B. SH, we back in the building, y'all. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening, Frank? Hey, episode 17. Let's Chris go. Chris Bryan. Chris. Yo, Cubs legend, baby champion. Brian. Let's go. He brought us a chip to the city, hey, so. Hey, hey, hey. It's all love. Hey, speaking of all love today, we in episode 17. We is, This is the Bulls and NBA playoff quick special for y'all. For sure, man. Hey, you know, we've Favorite been rough. Favorite time of the year. It is. We've been rough on these Bulls. But man, did they show out today, Frank? Hey, I feel pretty good. So, hey, I'm not gonna lie. I feel Who are they? Who is this team? I, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm. I, what words do I say? I wow. mean, Zach Levine. That's Zach all I can say. Levine. Zach Levine. Forty Zach. ball. Mister Two Hundred M's. Zach smoking that loud pack. Zach. Hey, hashtag pay that man. Pa- he hashtag closer. Demar. Hashtag he deserves it. Please, hey, hey, I love it, man. I will say this. Let me mm-hmm. throw out this about Zach Levine. Yeah. 40 ball. I mean, mid-range, step backs, threes, taking it to the hole, free yeah. throws. The man shot 15 free throws this game. That's awesome. I mean, play-in game is, yeah. is in the clutch. We're not a championship contender right now, but, mm-hmm. man, the world is watching. You uh, pay, got that money. Everybody's 0-0 zero zero right now, Frank. You saw Zach in the third quarter when – the uh, Raptors, I think, went up 19 or 20. He took it to the hole, got an and one, and the game changed from there. You also got to give shout-out to his teammates. DeMar struggled, but still made some shots in the fourth he quarter. He got some two nasty dunks. One, he was wide open, because what? Zach was creating. He, that was a beautiful dime by Zach. And you got, like I said, Caruso, Pat Will, Kobe White. They're the ones that started us getting this game going. We uh, put a kind of defense and emphasis on the game. We locked up. We forced turnovers. Uh, Pat Will played confident today with some big dunks. Um, he had some big uh, turnovers. He forced some turnovers. Uh, Bulls bench played pretty good. Good Bulls win. Kobe played efficient. Kobe played efficient. He didn't miss a shot. He plays good defense. Uh, but you got to give Zach credit, bro. He took over the game. He literally said, I'm not letting us lose. I know we ain't going out like that. And like you said, all year he hasn't been 100%. But like we said, since the All-Star break, he's been playing a lot better. And today I think he showed out on national television why he is one of the top 10 scorers in the NBA and why we paid him some money, which me and you discussed it all year. Was it worth it? Was it not worth it? Man, today, hats off. Man. Hey, 26 years old, man. How do you not pay this man? He deserves it. It's hey, a contract, man. man. You know? Yeah. At that age, you don't know what his ceiling is. Every year he's got better. He yeah. made the most threes of his career this year. Right. He still averaged 25, 4, and 4. I mean, those are stud numbers. I mean, That's it's true. not all-star this year because he started off slow. But, mm-hmm. man, since February, he's been taking off. Even on ESPN, they were talking about it. They mm-hmm. know on, since February he's been on the tear. And he was aggressive all night. I like it, man. Like I said, I, DeMar, he did his thing. He still got 20 shots. If he could do the same thing, whether he's on or off, Still give the ball to Zach. That's what I yes. want to see. Yes, and play a little bit of defense. He did rebound a little bit, 23-7 and seven for DeMar. Uh, Zach, 39-6-3 is impressive, bro. Vooch, you got to give credit, 12 and uh, 12 for, and 20, and 12 rebounds, 12-12. and 12. Uh, I Double think we got to give him involved more. Um, he kind of gives us some easy hoops sometimes. He, he is a great low post scorer. And he plays some defense, yeah, too. I'll did. give it to him. He, he did. He rebounded too. the ball very well today. You got to give that credit. Why is Patrick Beverly our second-best rebounder? Not naming Andre Drummond because for some reason he doesn't play, but. Like the reason why we went and got him because he plays with heart. Heart. Heart, heart. over height. He had real, a man. big rebound late in that game over uh, uh, Vanderbilt and the other, uh, uh, the Siakam. Siakam was balling too. I'll give it to him. That they didn't miss a shot in the first half. You got to give Toronto credit. But hey, once Fred the too. Rockford's, Rockford's Ooh, finest. That boy he was on fire. Seven, eight threes, I think. Today. He kills us every time. He loves playing against the Bulls. He does. He does. Hey. Great team win, Chicago Bulls. We've been rough on y'all all year because we don't know what we were expecting. Today, you guys fall back. I watched the game from front to end. I literally was just sitting there like, man, if we can get close. Third quarter kind of scared me. We came out flat. But I'm telling you, man, once Zach turned it on, it felt like the whole uh, whole team came together, man. And, and it everybody was good gave to see him it. the ball. They did. Whew. 
And they did, and they fed off him, and they were cut in when he was making moves. Um, he made the game easy for the rest of the team. And, man, once we get some stops, man, because we can score the ball. There are times that we go dead. Uh, DeMar kind of holds the ball sometimes. But when Zach is involved and Zach is cooking, man, let the kid cook, man. I know there's some plays he's going to make that's going to make you a little peed off, pissed off, I know. But, man, ain't nobody in the NBA can really guard this kid. He's one of those guys that's hard to guard because he can do everything on the basketball court. Give him the ball. Let him keep getting confidence. And you know what? You're right. It's a beautiful thing to see. And guess what? Mm -hmm. We finally beat the Raptors. Yes, when it mattered. Hey, you know what, man? Let's move on. Yeah. Like I said, this is my favorite time of the year. Every year, it's the NBA playoffs. All yes, right? it is. We're in a play-in right now. Some people say these games don't matter. I don't care. They this is matter. This is amazing to watch. It's competitive yeah. basketball. Yeah. Even the Lakers yesterday, we thought they were going to lose. Like for real. They pulled it out. That's it, uh, We got some good games coming up. Let's I want to see on, Frank. Come on. what you think. Let me pull this up real quick. Pull it up, but you already know who I got coming out the West. But before we get to that, Slim the Reaper. this play-in, we got New Orleans Pelicans, the Thunder. You know They're playing right now. You know we live while the game is going on. Yeah. Okay, the, see, that's a good basketball team, though. I, both these teams are like kind of in the middle without I Zion. I wish Zion was playing. Damn. I wish. That's that's the that's the bummer about that game. Like, mm, yeah. Who cares? But, right. Whoever beat whoever wins that game, uh, they get to play the Timberwolves, and then mm -hmm. whoever wins that game gets to play the Nuggets. So I don't care who they play. It's I don't Denver really care five. about that. I don't give Denver and five. We agree and, on that one. Denver and five. Either way, you're right. Okay. Okay. All right. Keep they might. It might be a sweep. Right. Uh, Bulls Heat. Jimmy! We get to see my man Jimmy G. Woo! Buckets. Send him home, baby. Hey. Yeah, he, this house. Send him home. You know what? Miami is a very, very mid team. I said yeah. that at the beginning just of the like year. Just like us. Uh, you know, at least we got an injury to make us mid. They just lose players in free agency the last couple of years. It's true. Um, but I feel like it's going to be a good game. Then whoever comes out of that game is going to get whooped by the Bucks. So. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know what, though? I'd rather us play the Bucks. I think we match up a little better and. I think we're not scared of the Bucks. Hey, sometimes you know? we can stop Giannis. We play Giannis a lot, though. So, I mean, hey, they're a very good team, though, man. Drew Holiday. Uh, it's killing this year. Oh, my God. Let's let's keep going because so I even I if mean, the, So, you can agree if the Bulls make it to the next round, they're probably end up building maybe one game against the Bucks. I don't like anybody in our division, whether it's football, <laughs> basketball. I hate the Bucks. I hate Milwaukee. I hate the state of Wisconsin. The arena is cheap, but it's not really it's that not nice. Uh, it's not bad. It's a nice arena. I, I'm hating. Yeah. I will admit. But I don't like the Bucks, man. If we could beat them, I would feel amazing. But they got an amazing team, man. That's true. We got an amazing team. Keep so, it going. Who we got? Uh, let's keep it going. Let's start off with the Eastern Conference. This is going to be a mm -hmm. good matchup. Mm -hmm. I think there's going to be domination, though. Let's yeah. see what you think. We got the Cleveland Cavaliers and the New York Knicks. Ooh, I got the Cavs. I think they're just loaded up at the right time. They got a good all-around team, good bench. Your boy Spider is playing out of his mind. Um, they got a really good team. Like I said, they're going to be hard to beat. But, man, you got to give the Knicks a, you know, they got to give a punch his chance, man. They play great defense. They play very hard under Tim Thibodeau. Tom, was it Tim, Tom? I don't even care because he ain't shit. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, but uh, I, I got um, I got Cavs in six. You know what? Yeah. Lucky for us in the whole yeah. NBA world, yeah. we finally get to see another year Julius Randle putting up bricks in the playoffs. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, True. I got Cavs in five. I mean, Ooh. I might give the Knicks one game. They might get swept. I mean, the Cavs are – they're a really, really good team, man. Really, hey, really shout out to Greg because he's probably the only person in uh, the United States picking the Knicks over the Cavs. So, shout out Big Greg. I, I don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah. Uh, next, we got the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Brooklyn Nets. This is the most amazing team since the trade deadline from what I'm hearing. And they've been balling. They are 13 and 16 since the trade. That's all and great, but uh, Joe Embiid is on a mission. That it's will be over in four. Four. Sweet. Un undeniable. I mean, four. I don't care how good Miguel Bridges has been playing. Mm -hmm. I mean, that team is better than what you thought it would be missing. KD, Kyrie, and James Harden. Yeah. 13 and 16 since the trade. How, no matter how good you think they are, they yeah. are not that good of a team. They're getting swept. Joel Embiid is going to dominate. He might average 50 that game. In that series. I mean, he's 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 on a mission. I he would is. say that. So that I'm a Joel Embiid yeah, fan. Keep it put. So do I. I think he's really uh, got this skill all around for big man. We got Celtics against the Hawks. Over in five. I don't I like say, the Hawks. I say, man, I'm going to say four for that series, too. Yeah, I, I don't. I, the Celtics are just too good of a basketball team. 
They will destroy the Hawks. They have matchup problems against Tatum and Brown. They have matchup problems one through five. I mean, they are. They don't play no defense. They got people who can score. But here's the thing. Boston will lock you down a little bit. They play. They got Marcus Smart to put on yep. Trey Young. That's I mean, true. DeJounte Murray, he's going to have to go against Jalen Brown. And who been I mean, balling. I mean, let's say, okay, mm-hmm. DeAndre Hunter is great at defense. He has to guard Jason Tatum. <laughs> Dang, he's going he gonna to average 34 on his head. It's over. It's uh, over. Let's go to the Western Conference. We already okay. got Denver with basically a sweep or five games. But mm-hmm. we got the Suns and the Clippers, KD versus Westbrook. Over in five. five. Five? I'm being nice. I give it six. That's six games, man. That the, ain't the going Suns six. ain't ready yet. They wait, wait. Okay, wait. Let me rephrase that. Their chemistry is not ready yet. I'm Kevin Durant. You know who I am. You had the best statistical season you know that any NBA player has hey, ever Frank. had hey, Frank. in history. You know who I am. Wait, real quick. Let's stop saying that he had the best anything with 47. I don't games care playing. about the regular season. You know who I am. Okay, but they don't have the chemistry. I say it's going six. I man. don't care. You know who I am. I still said I got Slim the Suns. Reaper I picked is the here. Sun. I, He's going <laughs> to destroy anybody that comes in his way. He is not playing this shit with you. I picked the Suns, okay? Okay, but All that's right. great. All right, let's go. This is an interesting series. This right. is a fact. Uh, the Sacramento Kings tickets Ooh. against the Warriors, their tickets are double the price. <laughs> First of time in how long? I, I mean, their fan base is amazing. I hey. give it up to them. They are loud when you play them. Hey, when we just played them uh, a couple weeks ago, that team is actually really nice, bro. Hey, DeAndre, uh, not DeAndre, De'Aaron Fox. Fox, wow. He's playing with confidence, the bonus. I was literally sitting watching the game, and they was like, hi, the King's good. I can't believe it. I was like, what's the bonus has been doing this? And De'Aaron Fox been that man. And what he Killing. Do, like, he game-winning bro. point get shot against us. Like, he so. looks like John Wall with a better jump here, jumper and a lefty. Oh, and he's fast. He's probably faster. He's yes. probably faster for sure. And they kill you with that, that, that pick and roll with him and Sabonis is damn near impossible to stop, man. But they don't play no defense, and you going against Golden State. I got the Warriors maybe in six or seven because it might be a good series. But I'm never gonna put my money against uh, Steph and Clay in the first round, dog. Especially nah, no I got sense. six. And then you know, honestly, this is a series that can go five easily. I mean, right. if they lose a couple games in the beginning, it's gonna go five games. So if the Warriors if, get hot, if they lose the first two games at home, I mean, it's not going no more than five. It might be a sweep. So that's true. That's gonna be a tough series. Hey, for good the Kings. Man, But shout out to the Kings, though. It's a great season. I give it to him. But that's a, a tough season. series because the, the tough Warriors season. are getting healthy right now. Mm-hmm. Clay is back. He's confident. He's ready to talk shit. And he got. The, you know, the Mr. Sharpshooter, Mr. A.K.A., the chef. And he Mr. got the bully AKA, out there that's still in all people. Anywhere. Mr. A.K.A., um, I win chips. <laughs> Steph is back. So that hey, Steph is series. amazing. We got, I can't amazing. wait to see him play playoff yeah, basketball. Exactly. Uh, this is probably the mm-hmm. most interesting series in yeah. my eyes. We got Stone Cold Steve Austin, Dylan Brooks, <laughs> and... Uh, oh, was he supposed to be an Undertaker? Whoever he's supposed oh, to be. No, uh, and John Morant, Thug uh, Bank, game banging the 22. He's going to wow. weigh the 22 in everybody's face. Um, the smallest gun in America. <laughs> um, anyway, man, against the Lakers with this new and improved Lakers team that I actually kind of like. I actually kind of like this Lakers uh, team. Who do you got then in this series? I'm going to ask you first. <sighs> Whew, that's a tough one, man. I didn't even think about this series. Yeah, what are you thinking? I got Memphis, man. I got Memphis in six. I give the King and AD to win at least two games. Um, they think it's the bubble. Their team is not as good as their bubble team. The key, the, the Memphis is really, really good basketball team. Bro. John Moran is special. You know, he I'm is. joking, of course. I mean, he made a stupid move. I mean, young. he's young. You know, he's it's a dumb move. He said mm-hmm. it's a dumb move. But now it's a parade inside his city. Yeah. You know why he's saying that? Because yeah. he wants a parade Inside his city, yeah. Man, so you gotta win the game. Beat the, he gotta beat the king first. They've been talking about it all year, though. Even last year, they got kind of hurt a little. I mean, but hey, they talk a lot of smack. They gotta back uh, it they, up now. They are very competitive. They play good defense. Yeah. They got big man and John Moran is special. So got I want, shooters. I, I, they guys definitely got shooters. I want to see how far they go. Yeah, that's gonna be a good series. Um, like I said, I got I got John and the boys finishing in five or six. Um, I think they're just playoff ready. I think LeBron and and AD and them those. They've been carrying the team for a long time, man, and, and I don't know if they got enough because once you get to the playoffs, it's more team basketball than anything. And the Lakers really only got about maybe five or six guys deep. Um, I don't really see, I don't really see them winning three or four games against Memphis, man. It's gonna be hard. I mean, Memphis yeah. is almost the number one seed for a reason. So, yeah. yeah. Hey, this is a quick episode. I got yeah. a couple quick questions for you before we yeah. end this. We got another playoff check-in coming in next week right. once we get real deep into the real playoffs. Yes, sir. Second uh, round. I got a couple questions, man. Find this matchup. Who you got real quick? 
You know who I am, Frank. Kevin Durant will take the Phoenix Suns to the finals. Against? Against the Milwaukee Bucks. You got the Bucks? Wow. Yep. I got the Bucks coming out the East. I think they're the best all-around team. Um, other than, like I said, KD, Devin, and Chris Paul are going to figure it out with DeAndre Ayton. Um, I think KD's on a mission this year. Um, get out of his way. I got the Suns. I'm just going to tell you like I told you all from the beginning. I got KD against anybody, anytime, anywhere. I got the Suns winning the championship this year. KD's going to take Chris Paul, choke him, but finally over the hump and get himself a ring. That's it. Who you got, cuz? Let me hear what you got. You're going to like this one. All right. I got the Suns going Woo! up against Boston Celtics. Okay. JT, the young bull, the okay. young KD, going against old man KD. I got to old man for. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm setting up the scene okay. for him to come and take the throne. You I got, mean, oh, so you got the, you got the Celtics winning it all. I got the Celtics, man, in seven. Okay. I got seven. the Celtics in seven. That's going to be a great series. I got Phoenix Amazing. in five or six against the Bucks because the Bucks, I think, are a good team. Giannis is a beast, though. Yeah, Giannis is a beast. Mm-hmm. Chris Middleton is kind of shaky. Celtics are ready. Yeah. All, All right, right let's keep going, man. Yeah. I got an MVP question for you. So Go ahead. I want to know what's the most important thing mm-hmm. for an MVP player, all right? This is just a regular season award. I uh, want to make sure the argument is precise and clear. Right. We got four different options for you. The first one we're going to say is player stats. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next one we're going to say is uh, team success, so the team record. Right. Um, you know, usually best person on the best team gets the award. That's going to be B. Mm-hmm. Uh, third one, C. We're going to have uh, being a two-way player. So we're going to say, are we, do you value somebody like Michael Jordan, Kobe mm-hmm. Bryant, somebody that wins scoring championship and defensive player of the year, Joel Embiid. Mm-hmm. Um, or D, making your teammates better. Or let's say like the quality of your team. So you take this MVP candidate away. Is this team still good? What is the most determining factor for MVP? Um, I'd go with B. B is the team success, right? Yep. I feel like B and D are almost the same thing. They're very similar to. That's a great question, Frank. Um, and, and and I'm gonna throw in. I'm already pick who I'm picking as MVP. This is the perfect. What you just asked actually fit the perfect um, criteria for what this man has done this year. Joel Embiid should have won it last year, but this year you got to be kidding me. He I, has been killing the NBA. He killed Joker. Anybody that's been uh, was kind of almost beating him in, in votes last year, he destroyed. Um, the kid is special. He makes his team better. He's on one of the top teams in the NBA. He, uh, he does everything you want uh, MVP to do, play great on offense and also play great on defense and rebounds. And that's what Joel Embiid does. And, and I, the, the um, development of him, man, from where he was at Kansas to where he's at now, dude deserves MVP, man. So I go with, like, B, dog. B is my move right there, man. So you're saying yeah. team success yeah. and player stats. Of course. It's a combination of both. Yeah. It's a trick question for me. I'm saying all four. So mm-hmm. it all is a combination of everything. I feel like okay. Joel B has done all four things. He's right. made his teammates better. Right. That team is nothing without him on there. Mm-hmm. He's leading the league in scoring. The stats are there. He's number one, number two, number three seed. Almost got the best record in the NBA. Right. Uh, he's my MVP this year. I had him last year. Go. I got him this year again. Yeah. But you know who's the MVP of the night? Zach Levine. Zach Levine. Let's go. Let's go. Just like that. Zach. We out. I, I turned myself to a boss. Gave up like I was a regular. I came out driven with sauce. I did this all on my own grind. Like they won't stop hitting my phone like These hoes they call it the wrong time. Money is coming, it's on time. Tired of taking the loss. I turned myself to a boss. Gave up like I was a regular. I came out driven with sauce. Yeah. All my plans.